So the idea for the wind tower came from John Strapke about uh, three or four years ago. He would sit in his office and watch the flag wave back and forth in the wind. And kept saying that we needed a wind tower because we had so much wind. And so he kind of started it in jest and then uh, decided that you know we really should look at it as a project. It's a large customer segment for us. So having the opportunity to kind of combine something that would be good environmentally, represented reasonably good economic return, and then showed a real commitment to our customer base, came together as a very good project. We knew that we would be limited in terms of the number of towers that we could potentially put on our property. So it turned out the larger, the better in terms of the economics. The, the way it's wind turbine works is the higher you go, uh, the, more you, the more wind there is. You know, it's capable of two and a half megawatts, which is which most of the turbines in the United States are, are smaller than that. There's only a few that are this size um, in the United States today. Euclid uh, has to agree that something like that is going to fit well into the landscape of their community and work with us in terms of uh, the environmental elements in the neighborhood and be sure that they were supportive of that point of view. Uh, and, and they were. We pretty much were with them right from the beginning uh, over the permit, permitting process, going in front of planning and zoning, helping them secure grants, writing letters of support. It brought everybody together and made them realize that this project is very, very important, not only to Lincoln, not only to Euclid, but to the whole region as we try and draw our turn alternative energies companies into northeastern Ohio. We sell a lot of consumables uh, and we sell a lot of machines for wind tower production. So I was out at a company called Katana Summit where the tower was built and uh, that was where the idea came from to look at uh, one of our uh, end user customers to build the tower. Uh, they're large uh, pieces of plate steel that they take into the factory and they have equipment that rolls them into a circular cylinder kind of shape and then uh, there's a number of welds with our product that uh, is put on at that point. Some of them run circular and some run along the longitude. Kenersys uh, actually is the manufacturer of the, uh, the nacelle and the hub, but uh, LM Blades is the manufacturer of the blades. The nacelle and the hub and the blades uh, came on a ship from, from Germany to the U.S. via the St. Lawrence Seaway. Um, they arrived at the Port of Cleveland uh, just after Easter, uh, April 25th. You know, everybody was turned out to see these tower pieces come through. My wife and kids had turned out. You know, we went and watched these things, giant pieces of pipe moving through the square. And then uh, moving into the area here, backing the wind tower blades up, a, a truck that's almost 200 feet long from the beginning to the end. An amazing amount of material. And, and watching those things come in was, was uh, well, it was really a, a big relief to actually see them get hit the site. Well, it was exciting. Uh, I have visited over the years a number of wind tower manufacturing sites, and when you see them in a factory environment, it's not nearly as uh, impressive as when you see them on the road, you know, making a turn on the corner or coming down the highway or seeing a picture of them crossing the bridge in comparison to the size of the highway or the bridge. Once they were here, I think everybody started to look at the, the size of it and started to think, well, all right, we're going to make a statement here pretty soon. As part of the concrete, you add a foundation mounting piece. Uh, that gets casted into the concrete and then the rest of the parts are nut and bolt between each can section. The first piece is the heaviest and the shortest, and the reason it's the heaviest, obviously it has the most weight on it, but it also has a door which tends to weaken the structure. So it has like two inch steel. As you work your way up, they grow about 10 feet each section, and the last section is the longest, about 83 feet, and it tapers from 14 down to 10 feet. Sitting on top of the tower sections, the cans, is what's called the nacelle. The nacelle is basically the mechanical house of the structure. Um, attached to the front of the nacelle is called the hub, and attached to the hub are the three blades. After you bolt the tower and put the blades on, the electrical output is two and a half megawatts, and you need to be able to move that power from the top of the generator to the bottom, so there's a lot of electrical work that needs to take place to get that power down to the uh, facilities. There are several hundred bolts, just under a thousand bolts that need to be tightened, and they need to be tightened twice. So there is a lot of work that has to take place even after it's assembled. After the blades went up, I actually just walked to the back of the field and just stood and watched it for 20 minutes just because it was absolutely incredible. I still couldn't believe it's, it's, it's up and running. 
You know, you look at 454 feet and, and you can't really imagine it until, until it's actually there. When you see the amount of welding that goes into a tower like that, you can get a good appreciation for how big of an opportunity it really is for Lincoln and for the welding industry. We're in the business of selling into this industry, so it's a good market for us, but additionally, it's community support. The Great Lakes uh, Task Force asked us to participate, so from that standpoint, we stepped up. We're trying to help uh, attract more manufacturing to the Ohio area, and it helps us save money on the electrical front. I think I refer to it as Niagara Falls at one time when people have to come and just see it at least once in their lifetime. There has been a draw of, of people at, at coming up to 22nd Street, finding a place to stop, taking pictures, looking at it. Um, will it be, uh, you know, something like it in Niagara Falls? Probably, probably never quite to that point. But I will tell you, when people see that turbine when they're on the highway, they get off. Pretty interesting project, met a lot of interesting people, worked with a lot of intelligent folks, and overcome quite a few hurdles with uh, the, the team that we have. Oh, this is definitely the top project of my career. I'm, I'm looking forward to the next one. I'm not sure what they're gonna have me do next, but this was definitely the top of, of my career. Well, it's hard to imagine that we'll build a bigger structure than the wind tower. Uh, we used to tell people to look for the water tower when they were trying to find, find a plan, and now we say look for the wind tower. Uh, but there are sites for two other towers out there, and who knows?